Hi, this is MC Shetty for a new episode of my modding tutorial series. And in this series I will not uh, add any code, but instead I will update uh, my tutorial to the latest Forge 1.16.5 and also update the mappings to the official Mojang map mappings. So recently uh, these have become official in Forge, uh, which means that from now on you can optionally write your mods using the same uh, names as Mojang uses in their code. There were some licensing uh, issues before, they haven't been 100% resolved. Uh, there is still some subtle wording issue, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know exactly what the, what the problem is, but uh, apparently it's good enough so that we can safely use them. Um, so I'm going to do this in this tutorial. Uh, in 1.16 the mappings will only be used for the actual uh, method, method names. It's only in 1.17 that we will also use uh, the class names and class structure. Because that is a change that can't be done in a compatible way. Which is why it has, isn't done at this moment yet. So that's for 1.17. To start with, we are going to update to the latest uh, version of Forge, which is 1.16.5, 36.1.16, uh, so let's copy that version um, and put that here, and this has to be updated like this. Um, the mappings are at this moment... Yeah, we will keep those for now. We will uh, you can only change them after uh, after doing some task, which we will show in a moment. Uh, this is okay. I'm go also going to... Um, yeah, this is a bit outdated. Let's put that to 36 as well, which is, uh, by the way, this corresponds to this version. And version range, let's say we only support from 1.16.5. In principle, you can also put four here and most often even three because but then you also have to change this uh, i think it's 35 i'm not sure uh doesn't matter but if you your mod is compatible with these versions you can do that too um it's up to you what you decide i su suggest most people should move to 1.16.5 soon so i'm going to keep it there okay once that has changed. I think I didn't forget anything. You just refresh Gradle and you wait a bit. So once this is finished, we can do this to generate new runs. And in principle, this should be enough. Let's see if it works. So it's starting up with the correct version of Minecraft. It will complain. I know what I'm doing. And normally everything should be there. I know what I'm doing again. That button is to give you some confidence that you're a modder who knows what to do. Yeah, and we are still in our custom dimension. But everything seems okay. Didn't I have something I'm set up somewhere? I don't know. Doesn't matter, it's working. Okay, so how do we update the mappings? There's some description here uh, on this uh, URL which I will put in the description of the video because it's a bit hard to type over and it 
goes through the steps you have to do. Um, so this task will map the project source files. It will actually change your source files. So if you don't have a backup, make one or put it on hit so that you can also re always restore in case it fails. Uh, if you have other source sets, you can add them here. But we don't have that in our tutorial. And then we have to do this comment, except, yeah, we have to uh, change the version here. Okay. So we copy that. We open a terminal. We paste that. Um, actually, let me make sure I don't have the new line at the end. So that I can still fix this. You can do this in uh, a comment line too on Windows. Like this. And let's see if it works. I think this should be okay. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I hope it works. Oh no, it doesn't. Let's see what's up. Okay, so apparently this has to be official. Let's try that. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, so now we can change the actually change the mappings. Um, I'm not sure if it's if there is something already changed right now. I don't see. Oh yeah, yeah, it has already done a few things. Of course, now it doesn't work. Work. So let's put change this to official and version. 1.16.5 and then uh, we should refresh Gradle. Let's wait. So it finished. Let's see. Um, it, this one no longer has errors. So let's go over some of the changes. Let's see if the project compiles first. Um, project okay this is uh, because apparently there's no get settings uh, so I have to rename rename this because there's apparently no get settings in chunk generator um, so let's um, tutorial settings but then um, yeah get tutorial settings like that okay so that's easy that's to be expected okay no other conflicts so what has changed append hover text this used to be you can see actually you can uh, you go check here show diff so you can see the differences in your git re uh, history uh, get main hand item get health item hand Pos what becomes vertex position matrix get last pose okay so these are the names that Mojang itself uses it will be some getting used to uh, the dis big advantage is uh, there are no more unnamed uh, uh, things because everything has a name in for Mojang. And uh, but one thing that is still missing: there will be no uh, parameter mappings. But so, but that's something that is still planned. By the way, I should stress: uh, it remains optional to do this. You don't have to uh, change. Yeah, location, that's interesting. Just so small things. 
Cat position becomes block position. Nice. Cat world, cat level. That's that's uh, a strange change, unexpected. Yeah, material but metal. So these in in values have changed too apparently. A bad hover text, get render shape, get occlusion shape, use, that's very short. By the way, everything that's from Forge itself will not have changed, of course. Forge has its own names, level, get block state. This will take some getting used to. World position. Yeah, interesting. Set changed instead of mark 30. Load and save instead of read and write. Get texture atlas. Get u, get v, cross, get dearest. Yeah, interesting. So Let's push this update to latest forged and latest official mappings. Okay, so in the second section of this tutorial I want to talk a bit about debugging. Because I very often see people on Discord ask questions, something that's not working in their mod, and they don't know how to fix it. And in many cases, if you know how to use a debugger, that's the best approach. And I actually introduced debug in my program. I broke the power generator. It's no longer doing anything. It just consumed one diamond, but nothing is happening. There's no energy being generated. So, when you have a bug like this, what do you do? You go Think about yeah, where is this power being generated? That's in first block in the tile entity. So that should be here. Um, so this generates the power and where does it do that? In the tick method. So let's put uh, a breakpoint here. Um, oh, this is much better than remote. I like this. Much clearer name. So. I don't want to uh, power generation surface side, so I let's put a breakpoint here. Also, always run in debug mode. There's no reason to run uh, like this. Always run in debug mode. You never know that you have a bug that you want to debug. And you can simply, without having to restart at the breakpoint, I want to investigate what's going on. Okay, so immediately, if I go into Minecraft, uh, the game will uh, pause and will be in the breakpoint. So what can you do here? So the uh, Minecraft is now paused at this line in the server thread. We are going to check a, a server uh, problem. You can, if you have a client problem, you can also pause in the client thread or in something else, but this is for the server thread. And we're going to check, yeah, the counter is 20. And then, then we can step. Okay, counter is. This counter was to make sure we only generate power every 20 ticks. And here we check counter, counter greater than zero, which is true. But here, this is not true. So we do set changed. Uh, that's the mark 30 from before. We go on. Counter. Nothing happens because our counter is 20. But we also didn't add energy because counter is uh, smaller than zero. So there's our problem. Um, send out power will not do anything. So if we... So yeah, sorry, I was using hotkeys, but I shouldn't. Uh, the keys that are important to debug are these. So to go to step over the current line, I use the F8 key, that's this uh, key, to step into uh, something would be this, uh, but we don't do that right now. That would mean, for example, if you were here, you would actually step into set changed. 
uh, four step into not sure what that does I would never use that step out that's to step out of this routine uh, so continue running until it's done drop frame I also rarely use this this is interesting you can say run through the cursor like this oh I should have put a breakpoint there um, let's try it again run to cursor like this so you can co continue the program until that point um, or you can also just do uh, not rerun but continue which will go which will let Minecraft run again until the next time it breaks um, here you can examine all the variables you see uh, what the variables are but you see counter is never decreasing so yeah here is our bug it should go down and you can compile this and for simple changes like this yeah load, uh, yeah uh, the message went away but it managed to uh, to compile this and dynamically reload the change so now yeah you see now the counter is actually decreasing so if you remove the breakpoint go back to the game yeah it's working now yeah so our generator works again so that's how you can use the debugger always run in debug mode and then you can set breakpoints and do some other interesting things there's another type of bug so the first bug we just debugged was a logical bug there's something that doesn't work as it should but there's no crash it simply doesn't work so but this type of bug I just introduced one which actually generates a crash and you see this yeah there's a reached exit code the program doesn't run and you go look you go look and this takes some experience but how do you read these crash logs uh, so this is the normal part and then at some point this happens um, there's a null pointer exception uh, which means that something is trying to access null and it happens at this line so this is the call stack that means that this code was first that's just the main uh, method of uh, Minecraft and it goes through these and at eventually it comes on this line and that's a block of our mod it's this line so what happens here we have a null pointer exception here so there are few op options here list could be null uh, but that's unlikely because that's something that comes from Minecraft itself um, here's an object that we create so that will not be null either the only thing that can be null here is this and it's the get that's uh, failing so let's check that out that's from our config and yeah the bug is we put this in comments putting this back will solve the bug so the variable wasn't initialized so that's how you debug this kind of uh, bug um, being able to rate uh, stack traces like this is uh, an important skill um, it's something you should should get comfortable with so this was the tutorial um, I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to ask and see you next time bye bye